What's up guys? Welcome to Keto Rewind. I'm Jess and you're back with another video. This one is going to be a different style. Um, I've thought about making a separate YouTube channel for this, um, but it is part of my journey. So I'm not quite sure. So for right now, I'm going to put these routines on this channel, but I may end up starting a whole other channel. So <laughs> we'll see. I'm making this up as I go. So anyways, you're watching Keto Rewind and I'm Jess. Welcome back. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on those notifications. And I want to start off by saying I'm not a doctor, I'm not a personal trainer, I'm not a coach, I'm none of that. This basically is my gym routine, my information, my opinions, and all that jazz. So talk with the doctor and all that fancy stuff before you start any routines of your own. So anyways, let's get started. So I've had my gym membership for the entire time I've had this, I've been on my keto journey since basically day one of my keto transformation. And you know how many times I went up until month six? One time. One time I went to the gym in six months since I started my keto transformation. And that's because I cared too much what other people thought. Um, I felt like the biggest girl there. I felt like everybody else was smaller. Everybody else was, you know, whatever. And I cared too much about that. I gave that way too much of my attention. And looking back now, like eight months into my journey, that was silly. So silly. And actually, I've come like a whole 360 I used to think the people in the gym were like gym rats, annoying, you know, like, but at the same time, now, well, I should say, now, I should say, I aspire to be that person. So, I mean, talk about a full 360 since you have like a, when you go through a, a journey like this, so much changes. Nothing about you from day one ever follows through with you as you keep trucking along in your journey. So what I'm trying to say is I now aspire to be that gym rat. I aspire to be the regular. I, I aspire to be that. And I'm so proud of all those people because they care about their health. Um, and that's priceless. And that's the mantra. And it doesn't matter what you do, how you got there. It's the fact that you want to take care and take charge of your health. That's all that matters to me. So with all that being said, I wanted to explain what I'm going to do um, for my gym routine. And I go to a gym that's right down the street. It's easy. Um, they've got great equipment. And this, the machines that I use can be found just about in any fitness center or gym. So um, I also wanted to say, I before my morbidly obese days, I used to go to the gym all the time. I was a, I love to work out. I competed in weightlifting. I was, so I'm no stranger to the machines and I can teach you how to use everything. And, um, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is before all those days, then when I fell off the wagon and got morbidly obese, I was no stranger to the gym either. So that's to my benefit. Now I can help make it not so intimidating for you because I highly su suggest you've got to find some type of a physical activity um, and add it to your journey. So I, like I said, I had lost like 60 pounds before I even stepped foot in the gym. You know, my one time back in day one didn't count. So, I mean, I did the first 60 pounds with zero exercise, absolutely zero. The only exercise I had was some random walks with my kids, you know, going to the park, doing stuff like that. Nothing formal or like religiously every day type, you know? So now, Fast forward seven, eight months, I have been going about, about a month now, I guess it's been, um, consistently or regularly. I work out about three to four times a week, um, and I do a full body routine every time I'm there. And the exercises I'm going to show you are all a very beginner intro into it, you know. So this is basically, I wanted to hurry up and show you this before I moved on. Um, to my next or I start changing it up and then I'm going to be in the free weight area um, Shortly, so but I want to show you just an easy Beginners routine so a beginners gym routine So basically what I'm trying to my my thought process here is I want to tighten up 
loose skin because I'm losing 140 pounds, you know, 83 pounds into this journey. You know, I want, I'm not expecting surgical results, but I do want to take that spot that previously had fat and replace it with lean muscle. Having a higher lean muscle mass means you can eat more food. <laughs> Another perk. Um, and plus, I just, I don't want, um, I want to help myself as much as I can. So I'm happy with my body when I'm all done. So um, basically, I want to tighten up the areas here that I've started to notice that are coming out. Um, like this, lots of loose skin here and you can't really tuck that into bras, you know, it's like there and I've got to work with it and I've got to, you know, see what I can do. So I do lots of exercises for my tricep to work on. I think they call them bat wings or whatever, like this right here, there's a little bit. Um, and as I keep losing, it may become more prominent. So right now my goals are to like tighten and focus on those areas and when I'm doing my exercises, I'm using my whole body. Every time I do an exercise, I don't just target the one muscle. It's a whole body exercise. So basically, I want to show you what I'm doing um, and how, how I've gotten this far. And I will keep adding to this as I decide if I want to add this all to my channel here or make a separate gym style YouTube channel because I know not everybody's going to want to do gym routines and all that stuff so I may just separate it out I don't know we'll see so <laughs> um but anyways I want to say that I don't do any cardio my cardio in the day I walk to and from my kids school to pick them up um we walk home every day we walk to and from it's a mile round trip um and then two miles for me because I do it twice <laughs> But I mean, it's a slow mosey. I mean, my kids want to stop every three minutes and, you know, we pass a park, they sweat, you know, so it's like, it's cardio because he yeah, has two miles total, but it's so slow, you know, like I'm talking about like 8,000 steps a day. I don't do anything crazy. <laughs> um, like six to 8,000 steps a day is a normal day for me. And so that's can, like kind of my cardio, what I would say, but my actual, what I call a workout is I do strength training, which means I only stay, I don't even look at the ellipticals, treadmills, all that stuff. I focus on strength training only, which is the machines and the free weight area. So, and I'll give you a better explanation later why I do that. Um, but for me, I have a genetic heart defect that causes cardiomyopathy and um, heart failure. And it's, Adding extra stress to my heart is never a good thing because I already have a heart problem. So when you, um, let's see, how do you say, cardio is more stressful on the heart than strength training. Um, I'm not saying cardio is bad for you. Please, please, please don't take it as that's how I mean. I mean, for someone who, like me, has a heart defect, adding extra, ooh, my lighting's getting weird. <laughs> adding, um, adding cardio to my already stressed out heart is not the best thing for me. So as a rule of thumb, strength training tends to be a lot easier on your heart because you lift it for temporary periods of time with longer rests versus like a consistent 30, 60 minutes of high intense um, cardio. So that's the main reason why I pick strength training and I don't spend time um, on cardio. But I also wanna say, I hate cardio. <laughs> it's probably why, why, you know, from someone who, like me who always has trouble with, you know, your being so out of breath um, because of what I have. Um, it's probably why I hated it always anyways. And I always went to the strength training. So that's why. And it also, if you're going to stick with something and make it a lifestyle, you've got to do something you like. So for me, it's strength training and going to the gym and that whole kind of thing. So you've got to do what's best for you. If you like yoga, if you like cycling, um, you've got to find your, what makes you want to do it. So with all that being said, let's basically just, I'll talk about my, um, when I go to the gym, I focus on form over strength. The one of the first things you can possibly go wrong with is lift too much and have poor form and hurt yourself. So I always stress form over strength. If you so and I don't like to bump up my weight until I can nail that set properly because that's 
gonna prevent injury. You don't wanna get injured and make this way worse on yourself. And you know, so you wanna be smart, go slow. And um, they'll also the rule of thumb here is you lift as much as you can properly with good form um, for lower sets. So basically I do a five by five um, routine. So I lift my the highest weight that I can lift for five times. I have a 30 second rest and I repeat that five times. So five by five, five sets of five. So basically I'm in between sets. I have like a 30 to 40 second rest and then I start in again on my next set because you don't want to go too long between sets because then your muscles are going to be like oh okay so you want to kind of like hit them and then rest when you're all said and done so that's just what I've found has worked for me in the past um, and I also like to do it that way because I don't want to hurt myself I want to have nice form and going slow builds the muscle fast. If you, there's nothing more annoying at the gym than the people right next to you pumping it as fast as they can do it and looking like morons. So, so like I just wanna like one day I'm gonna say, hey, slow down, slow down, what's the rush? But I'd say, nope, stay in my own lane. <laughs> don't focus, if I don't have anything nice to say, I don't say it at all. So basically what I'm trying to say is just go slow. It's Speed is not how you make muscle being um, very methodical, using all of the muscles, focusing and concentrating will make it way better and safer in the long run. So basically that's my tips and then let's get right into the workout.